far will it go? Uh, I was trying to get it to go that way. That bolt come loose. Oh, a good gallon of water just come gushing out of this one. Yeah, that's the one It's probably locked up. It's for the money, it's for posterity. Let's see that. Oh, you want to hit it? You ready? Yeah, you're ready. <laughs> Woo! Never did that before. Never did that before. <laughs> so, Joe, what is, what is the Detroit rule? The first rule is if it turns over, it'll run. It'll run, so it'll shoot oil all over the place. It might be sick. We gotta say it loud and let's do this. Yeah. Alright all. So uh, well heck, it's it's late. We're headed down here to we're headed down to Springfield to drop this Series 60 off to Joe, get this snatched off the trailer. And then uh, we actually bought another Pete 359. Um, we're going to get an 892 Silver tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if we're both going or just I'm going. Uh, if the fires aren't too bad, and I th think we're kind of toying with either putting this series 60 in the 892 or in the, in the 359 uh it's kind of a cool old truck so uh just trying to decide what we're going to do to power it it is a twin sticker uh so it'd be kind of fun to have that 892 in front of the five and the four because then we can uh we can crank that thing up and get we can get five six hundred horse we can probably get close to 600 horse out of it You sure it's in neutral before we die? <laughs> Apparently it is. Well, that just comes to life, don't it? would be kind of a smoking truck for somebody to play with um i'm actually just kind of doing this for a for a fun project and we'll get it sold so uh man if you guys got an idea and don't say cat or cummins because we're not putting a cat or a cummins in it uh but we can do a 871 892 uh we can do a series 60 um i don't think we can fit a 1271 or 1292 in it it's a it's a standard hood truck so uh but that's kind of what we're thinking of
Hey guys, in case you've never seen this, this is kind of cool. This is, what year is this, Joe? 74. So this is a 74 Buffalo bus. How they powered it is they took an 871 and they tipped it at a 45 degree angle. That's kind of cool. So you got what? This is going in, what, a 4106? Yeah. Huh. The, see, then when they did all that, and then the drive to make all that work, the motor turns left-handed, turns backwards. Really? Yeah. So it's a special beast. Oh, yeah. GM's good about that. <laughs> well, that's cool. It's kind of a cool bus. What are you going to do with the bus when you take the motor? Are you going to put a Series 60 on its side in was, the middle? That's kind of what I was thinking about. I just gave you a Series 60. Yeah. <laughs> all right. As you can see, the smoke finally died down. We got some some pretty pretty heavy rain uh, come through it. I wish it would have rained for like two, three whole days, but some pretty heavy rain come through. The smoke died down, so I'm just taking this opportunity. I'm shooting over to Eastern Oregon uh, to pick up this 892. I dropped the Series 60 off at Joe's. Uh, I was gonna actually put this in the other Pete 359, like I mentioned. I, I I think this one's gonna need to be rebuilt. Like I said, we'll uh, we'll get beaten over here, get a look at this cat, and get this picked up, and see if see if it's our our baby for that project, or it just needs a full rebuild and it's got to be sold. But they said it had water in the crankcase, so they yanked it. Such pretty country up here. It's crazy. Anyways, we're uh, headed back with that 92. Uh, just got a call about another one uh, that they're trying to save from the fires down by Medford. So I'm not sure, but as soon as I get to Springfield, we might end up loading into the service truck. Uh, they've got several of them down there that they're trying to prevent from burning out of fire trucks. So we might might be trucking down there to get them. So, man, this has been a lot of road miles this weekend. My wife's going to beat me. Uh, but I want to get that skitter started. Is we so. got to start that. It's kind of like that, but it's that. And you're gonna ask, what is that? Well, let me tell you, this is gonna be a hot mess. This is a skitter. with a Detroit and trees growing up through it. Uh, so this has been sitting here for a long, long time. We're working on all this stuff, yay! Always old junk. It's kind of fun though, ain't it? Hey guys, we just got back with this 871. We're gonna get this thing unstrapped and carried in the back. The motor's supposed to be froze, locked up, got water in the, got water in the crankcase and they run it till it stopped but uh the bearings are on the turbo other than that i mean it don't look bad uh so uh, we're gonna put a bar on it try to wiggle it over and get it unstrapped so we'll catch up with you here in just a just a minute as we finish this project the unstrapulation Get it. 
go that way. And bolt come loose. I don't know if you guys can hear this with all the background noise, but it actually rolls over decent. It's about it's about right here, and I can hear something rattling. Joe can hear something rattling too in the valve cover. Jake's on. Yeah. Turn out of it? Yeah. Wow. Well, so, what do you think? It's got a crack liner in it? Well, it does now. What's that? It does now. What do you mean? Well, for whatever reason, it. Come loose? What they'll do is they'll get antifreeze in the oil or the bearings will die. That shuts the oil off to the pistons. The pistons seize in the hole, they got O-rings behind them. It cooks O-rings out and it dumps the antifreeze in the air box. Huh? And then it all goes out the stack. Starts blowing white smoke everywhere. Exactly. Well, I mean... 
But it'll run as it sits, right? It might. <laughs> it's junk. It ain't a virgin. <laughs> well, I'm kind of wondering if we want to run it away and blow it up. Uh, or you think it's too good a motor? Well, it would be disappointing. Part of the reason it locked up is it filled it full of water. And the cylinders that were open filled full of water. And they come up on water. Come up on water. Quick way to find out if it's really dead is look in the bottom of it and see. Let's look in the bottom of it and figure out. Let's see how much oil is before we get Icky. Icky, but is it full of scrap iron? No. Alright, start turning it over. Actually, just kind of look at it. Deal with the torsional forces a little uh, bit? Twists. No. So if you're gonna look for bad main bearing, this is not the one. Because it just slid out. No, the fan belts hold the crank up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a good point. That's how that works. Depends on the outcome of this adventure. Why? Why do you ask me? Uh, you want to start it up or you want to just do an autopsy? I'd rather keep it as a good motor. I, I, you know, I mean, like if it was dead and we could get it to run and do something kind of fun and stupid with it, cool, but I'm 
starting to think it's not hurt that bad. I mean, it's clearly hurt. Something's wrong with it, but... Yeah, we don't know, like you say, we never got the real story. I mean, there's antifreeze dripping out the bottom of it. Well, that's just one of those things. Off of here. just come gushing out of this one yeah that's the one it's probably locked up well, you got your little light oh hang on. I mean I see a bunch of water coming out yeah I don't see any pieces of valve or anything They don't have that many miles on it. <laughs> well, it's it's been over. It's got jippo parts in it. That's what. Does somebody overhaul it? So what? What are you seeing for jippo parts? Hand gasket. Oh. What tells you it's been overhauled before? Just just the pan gasket? Yeah. It's been apart. You can tell by all the all the paints knocked off all the bolts. It's just So it's not birds in it, but it don't it don't have a lot of miles on it. Well but the overhaul. Ah, virginal. We're good. Oh. Maybe we can find out some information here. Not dated. It's Federal Mogul. Oh, there it is. 12th month of 90... 96 or 98. So it was overhauled 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. So that would mean, let's see. So 97 was when it was worked on last. So looking at this, unless the blocks hurt, you got something to put back together and make a motor out of it. Which is kind of nice, because Even I don't get that lucky. It's all good. It's all good. Dude, my streak of $500 motors keeps going.
Which begs the question, what should we do with it? Well, that's... Find out what the major problem is. You can still have the block broke up in the top of the counter doors. Uh huh. It just depends on how it was treated during it was its life. So, kind of a curious thing. Here's where we're at with this motor. Uh, after some deep soul searching, it ain't hurt. Um, well, something on the top end's hurt, but the bottom's great. So it'll run. So we're gonna we're gonna start it. Uh, we're gonna leave the air bucks covers off and uh, eh, We're just gonna we're gonna cause trouble And Joe promises me nothing bad's gonna happen That's the end result of that But these are all pretty much in the ballpark they torque to like 242 There's our fuel setup, there's our supply, there's our return. I do? Why is that? Tell this cool story of find it dead and make it run. Well, it was more than dead. <laughs> I get my easy out. I get that part. <laughs> well, that, that's got to be water. I don't know what that is. Something's coming out of here as soon as I start pumping. But it don't seem like. You know what it actually seems like? What? I don't know. I, it don't smell. It seems like paint thinner. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> What's that? Out of my pump or the motor? I don't know what's coming out of what here. Well, it's coming out of the motor. It's got you overwhelmed. Well, it ain't diesel. So I'm wondering if what they shot in it trying to get it started or what. Look. Yeah, it's diesel. It's just ugly. It's ugly? Yeah. Yeah, that's that clear diesel. Regulation. Factory diesel. Okay. Alright guys. <laughs> so we got the open tank of diesel. Ah. Uh, we get the starter held on with one bolt. We are running one wire here. We're gonna jump it here with a set of jumper cables to make 24 volts, and there's our ground. Now, uh, as everybody I'm sure is aware, this is a junk motor. Well, it's not a junk motor. It's actually turning out to be a pretty good motor, and we're gonna start it, even though it was locked up about an hour and 10 minutes ago. Uh, and I brought it up here, paid a couple hundred bucks for it as a parts motor. Uh, but this is disclaimer. Uh, don't try this stuff at, well, if you try it at home, know what you're doing. Because this would come back and hurt you pretty good, okay? Right, Joe? Right. So, yeah, just use common sense. Go get yourself a Joe. Uh, you can find them laying around, hanging out where old women hang out. And, uh. Go get yourself a gel and do this stuff at home. All right. No, I, in all seriousness, take it easy on us, okay? Hey, Joe. Yes. What's the term for what we're doing? Is it cobra fabled? Nah. Jerry rigged? Is there a term? Field improvisation. <laughs> field field impro improvisation in the driveway. 
I'm so impressed that this thing is gonna maybe even turn over. Who knows? Well, see, we got these optional holes for lots of starting fluid. That's a good point. Yeah, we'll just leave that open. Go up to 36 and make it sparky. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm, I'm about as ready as I'll ever be. I don't think that doesn't sound like the it's coming out far enough. No. Bad starter. It's for the money, it's for posterity. Let's see that. Oh, you wanna hit it? You ready? Yeah, you're ready. Woo! Never did that before. Never did that before. <laughs> uh let's huh. see if it'll start. I'm scared. Go ahead. A little bit. In. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get her, get her. You should have seen the hornets come flying out of there. Clearly there's a west, there's a nest up in there somewhere. I'm thinking the turbo. Yeah, the oil's just pouring out of that. So. But if you wanna stick the covers on there, we can do a little demo on uh, what it's like to tell what it, where the oil's coming from. I cannot believe that thing ran and it was froze solid. That's crazy. You just gotta record whatever you can record. Cause you never know. When you're gonna catch that awesome Joe Macer footage. Yeah, train wreck in action. Hey, nobody died. Alright, hit it. Let's see what we got for oil pressure. Ready? Yup. What'd we do? Run out of gas? That would have been a zero. What's your thought? Gonna, well, the next thing is we can put air box covers on it. Make sure that it's getting enough air to make it run so we don't, we're not creating our own problem. It's getting the oil from somewhere. It could run away all by its little lonesome. <laughs> what do you mean? It could run away. <laughs> That'd be not. Why would it run away though? It's getting the oil from somewhere besides. Still that great white gray smoke when we turned it off yeah oh I, you mean it's getting oil in the injectors it could push them wide open no it's getting oil in the air box is that board big enough to choke it nah. i'm gonna spin it here in a second <laughs>
I tell you what, wounded, but it's a runner. It's a runner. <laughs> How wounded is it? Uh, I'm kind of betting on the turbo being choked. Well, that, that ain't a big deal though. Well, it killed it because it run it, they run it out of oil, and then it tried to seize up. Ah. If we put water in it, it'd run right in the pan. I know. Yeah. <laughs> guys we're back in Seattle I cannot believe we got that motor to run um, quite frankly I don't know what we're gonna do with it I, I think we're just gonna put a put a frame kit in it and frame kit in it and uh, it's probably gonna be a motor for that new 359 or it, dude it might even be good enough that it really should be sold and, and go into a working truck for hundreds of thousands of more miles I I don't know I think we got really lucky uh, my history of, of buying $500 parts motors that this is the third one in a row that actually turned out to be just fine. You know, I, I think somebody was in such a hurry to smack a new motor in there that they didn't even really do much of an autopsy on the motor. They're just like, ah, oh, it's junk and yank it out. But I don't know. Um, I can't speak for others on that, but we sure have been benefiting from it. So uh, don't forget the hats. T-shirts came in. I'm going to get them on the website. I have a whole bunch more videos, including the skitter. I have, I have like seven more videos shot that I haven't had a chance to edit and put out. So we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe.